All right, guys, we're back. Sorry about <clears throat> sorry about the slight delay there. Um, for some reason, my Wi-Fi was messing up, um, and I don't have an Ethernet cable that plugged into my Xbox. So, yeah, that's why it was slightly delayed. I hope it's all working fine now. It should all be working fine now. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I'm back after a weekend break away from all things YouTube related. Um, like I say, I apologise in advance for a slightly late start to this, um, purely based on internet stuff. I didn't realise it was an issue. Um, I, my Xbox and everything was working fine before I even considered live streaming today. And yeah, just so happens that the, uh, the my internet was, was messing up. Uh, everything apart from a wired connection was, was messing up. So I hope it's all back and working fine. I hope everyone is having a good day. Um, Monday, December, December the second, in fact. Um, and yeah, like I say, December, Christmas, just around the corner. I've only got a few more days left at work before I actually finish work for this year. So I've got a bunch of holidays and stuff. Uh, not actual holidays, just days off of work, I guess. So yeah, um, not sh not got any plans really. Just um. Yeah. It says that I'm unable to connect to the chat. I don't know if anyone's in, but we'll see if anyone wants to come and hang out. <clears throat> so let's just have a quick look at the squad. Sanchez rebass my man up top. He's only 19 years old still, and he's just absolutely killing it. Stevens and Cabral. Now we switched the, we switched up last time to this 4-3-3 attack formation, and it seemed to be working out for us. Um, these two wingers or wide players, Stevens and Cabral, seem to like um, crossing over quite a bit um, in terms of, you know, Stevens will step across to the left and Cabral will do vice versa, move over to the right. And Riquez, we've got in their race as well. These two, these Brazilian youngsters, are just absolutely insane. We've got more in there at the moment. He's one of our young English players from our youth squad. I think we'll give him a bit of a rest. We'll put Hassan Fella back in. Pereira as well, another brilliant young Portu uh, not Portuguese, Brazilian uh, player that we uh, that we found. Hendry, uh, we'll, we'll put Dabo in. Dabo is of course being sold in January, which is not great. Uh, um, we also got this guy in Dilu, who's pretty pretty good. He's a pretty good option to 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 have as backup uh, behind Sanchez Ribas, so can't really complain about that. Uh, I think that's probably enough I think that that's a good enough squad to go in and tackle this first game now this first game is going to be a home game against Stoke and Stoke I believe are top in the EFL championship but as is tradition we always play the first game on the live stream I think they've got like just under double the points that we have so yeah it's going to be a uh, it's going to be an interesting one for sure I don't know if we'll come away with anything in this game against Stoke the first game on the live stream but hey you know what here's hoping um i hope everything's coming through on the live stream well i hope uh, you know i can't i can't hear myself so i hope that all of the sort of volume levels and everything is okay if you are in the chat let me know if you want me to adjust any of the uh sort of volume settings that's enough of this i i've never i've never been a fan of those um I've never been a fan of and those sort of training things that you can do. But here we go, look at this. The cold the breath the of Darbo in the air. Here we go. Home game against Stoke to start things off this evening. Like I say, guys, I've been pretty busy over the weekend, so apologies for no, no videos and no streams over the weekend. But we're back. We're back. We're playing some more FIFA. We've hopefully going to find our happy place. We are seeing a bit more success with this formation. Now, as soon as I say that, here goes Race. Look at that. Easy as you like. Edson Race. Cool, calm and collected. We're inside five minutes with 1-0 up against Stoke at home. Like I say, I mean, this new formation just seems insane for us. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I just feel a bit more confident playing it, but... 4-3-3 attack for some reason is just absolutely doing bits for us. You know, our, our, our midfielders get forward and support. Sanchez Rebass is brilliant in that hold-up play. He can basically score from anywhere on the pitch as well, which is always great. Um, and our defence is solid as well. 
Uh, having said that, here comes Dinoidje. I don't know how to say that. Oh, brilliant tracking back there from Stevens, stopping the cross. Does go out for a corner though. Hopefully we can get this one away fairly quickly, maybe create a counter-attack. Doesn't even get past the first man. Stevens again is there. We've got Dabo ahead of him. Like I say, Dabo is actually leaving us in January, I believe. Just unhappy with us not... I don't, I don't quite know why. You know, it, it's not like we weren't playing him, because we were. Maybe he just feels like he's bigger than the club. And I guess when a player feels like that, there's not really a lot you can do. Their mind is set on leaving, so we just have to go and get rid of him. I mean, it does help us out with our sort of financial goals that we are being set by the boards. So, again, I can't really complain about that. I don't know if the chat's coming through. I don't know if people are actually in the chat. If you are in the chat, can like someone just like send a test message? Because <laughs> it says I'm unable to connect to the chat. Please try again later. And I don't know how to refresh the chat. I don't know if there are people like screaming at me in the chat. Um, but if not, then please scream at me in the chat so that I can figure out if it's actually working. All right. Let's not get distracted. Oh, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, Stevens. Track back. Dabo, 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 stay on him. Oh, good slide. Whoever that was. Was that Pollock or Waterfall? Enriquez now bringing it forward. Find Stevens on this near side. He's looking for someone. He finds Sanchez Ribas. Sanchez Ribas poked it through to Hessenfella. Ooh, there we go. 2 0. What am I even going on about? Uh, the, the, the pop out the chat. Yo, Owen Brown. Owen Brown is in the chat. How's it going, man? I can see that message now. I've got the chat popped out. Uh, look, can we restore the chat? Uh, I don't know what's going on with the chat. But I can see it like that, so I'll, I'll have the chat popped out. How's it going, Owen Brown? Can I please respond to your deal? I will sob and like if you shout on my channel and say that my content is good. Owen Brown. Owen Beard 07. Uh, Guys, go check him out. I'm going to go check him out after this live stream. Owen B 07. Go and check him out, guys. It's with Asali. The Neuer. How are you anyway, man, Owen? You good today? Oh, for fuck's sake. That's it. Fuck's sake, Dabo. Dabo, Dabo. Calm it down. Oh, how's your fucking touch? Please. Uh, that's it. Stevens has got it now on this near side. Sanchez Ribas. Finds race. His touch is good. Oh, straight at the goalkeeper, though. He's got it back. Sanchez Ribas. Oh, my word. Finds Dabo, Dabo's here. Dabo, 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 you're looking for who's there to support him? Oh, that was that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. He's offside. Let's stay on him, Pollock. Pollock. Come across Pollock, because Dabo likes to go forward. Maybe it's a blessing and a curse, getting rid of Dabo. We need some more sort of defensive minded players at right back. Oh my word, Pereira straight at him. Get it fucking away. That's it. Stevens takes it under control. Enriquez finds Campbell Gordon on this far side now. Sanchez rebass, easy as you like. I don't even know what's going on, guys. I mean, this is. I, I'm playing on professional difficulty. I'm not that good at FIFA, but somehow the goals are just flowing. The goals are just flowing. You know, we've been away from all, for a while. I thought that this would be a lot harder. To, to actually get going but you know we're 3-0 up against the league leaders absolutely insane absolutely insane look at that fucking shot there from Alejandro Sanchez Ribas the 19 year old wonder kid from Spain absolutely amazing absolutely amazing two minutes added time here at the end of the first half Stoke just, you know, stunned into silence. The away fans are just non-existent at the moment. Perhaps expecting here coming away to, to come away from here with, you know, all three points and an easy win. But 
nothing's ever easy when you're in charge of Grimsby Town. Here we go, there we go. And the is Jack plays games. Yo, what's up? I play games too. Am I on Xbox? Yes, I am on Xbox. I'm playing this on Xbox. 3-0. Enriquez, you're looking a bit tired, my my guy. My guy's looking a bit tired. Let's get Mason Moore on the pitch. Give him 45 minutes. Yeah, man, I'm on Xbox. How are you guys doing? You guys all okay in the chat? Hope you're uh, hope you've had a good day. I've had a relatively okay day. You know, it's in December now, getting into the Christmas spirit. So, yeah. It's always going to be good and fun. Like I say, I mean, I've only got a couple of days left at work for this year. I've got a bunch of days booked off. Not really to do anything, just to not be at work and relax. So that's always good. Let me know if you guys have got any Christmas plans. Obviously, it's still a few weeks away. Oh, my fucking God. Pereira, stay back, stay back, stay back. Oh, good defending. Good defending. It's a second goal for Millwall. 51 minutes played, 2-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. So close to keeping himself onside. Please don't much my channel. Well, it's pretty... What do you mean? Much it? Get them right. Hey, man. What, 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 what do you mean you don't want me to much your channel? What do you mean? Hey, man. I don't care, like, if your video's... If you don't think your video's great, I don't... I don't care, mate. I mean, I, you're coming to show me some support on this live stream. Of course, I'm going to head over and check out your channel, man. All the support is very much welcome. Like I say, I don't, I don't really, you know, you, you may think it's not good. I don't think any of my content is good. But I have people come and hang out and, you know, they show their support. So, of course, I'm going to show the same support back, you know. A championship match that should hold plenty of intrigue. Race, race for his second. Oh, just off the outside of the post. Unlucky, mate. Oh, Sanchez Rebus. Mock it. I'm not going to mock your channel. Don't worry about that, man. I get plenty of people mocking my channel. It doesn't, like, again, haters are going to hate, man. I'm not, I'm not like that, you know. YouTube is just about having fun. That's, that's what I use it for. Sanchez Rebus. Oh, ho, ho. what a goal that would have been. You have one mil views. Me? Do I have one mil views? I, d I don't. I guess Owen Brown might have one mil views, which would be absolutely insane. If o Owen Brown, if you've got a million views, oh man! Like, don't don't put yourself down. That's 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 incredible. I I don't even know how many views I've got. I don't like again. I don't numbers and stuff on YouTube. I don't. It's not that I don't care, it's just right now it's like, I know I'm a small YouTuber, I know, I, I, like, this isn't, this isn't something that I'm going to think, I, I, I don't think I'm going to, you know, make anything of this, this isn't like a career, this is just something I do for fun, and at the moment numbers are just numbers, you know, I mean I recently hit 90 subscribers and I was just like, oh wow, that's, that's, like, to have 90 people in the world that actually, like, want to subscribe and actually watch the stuff that I do is just insane. Like, I know it's not the largest number in the world, but it is just insane. Nah, no, don't. Wait, yeah, I do, but that's on a different account. What? You got, you got another account that's got a million views. Dude, that's insane. That is absolutely incredible, man. Don't put yourself down like that. No accuracy at all in terms of the shot unleashed. You've got, love, you've got 11 subs. That's, hey, dude. Again, you know, you've got to start somewhere, innit? You, you've got to start somewhere. Like I say, it doesn't... <laughs> numbers are just numbers to me at the moment. Because I know that this isn't going to be anything insane. Because I don't spend enough money. I don't have enough money. I have a full-time job. Here we go. Real danger. Why would you try to play that through ball to him? More. More. Ah, oh, unlucky. But over 1k on my other one because of copyright. You have 1k subs because of copyright. Mason Moore. Oh, again. Am I now on 91 subs? Hey, does that mean you subbed? Hey, Jack plays games. Thank you. 
if you if you did subscribe, thank you very much for that, man. I'll be sure to go ahead and check out your channel after the stream as well, man. Oh, what another save that is from the Stoke City goalkeeper. Is that? That's not Jack Butland, is it? That's someone else, obviously. Yeah, man. Cheers, dude. All right. Whip in this corner. Whip it. Whip it real good. Oh, terrible. That was absolutely terrible, guys. Absolutely terrible. Making bare pee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making bare pee. I'm definitely not. I mean, definitely not making bare pee at the moment, mate. Especially when it's coming up to, like, Christmas. Like, there's no way, like, with Christmas shopping and stuff and presents. I ain't got... <laughs> I wish I did. I wish I did. I need to stop spending it. I, I don't even spend it on like useful things. It's just pointless stuff all the time. And I always just end up going out drinking and that doesn't help. But there we go guys. 3-0. Three 3-0 three in the first game on the live stream against the league leaders Stoke. An absolute upset. Here we go, post-match interview, let's do this, just to try and get the morale back. It was a Simpsons video that I screen recorded and uploaded. What, the one that's got a million views? Or... You get my struggle, yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a funny old life we all live, isn't it? Crushing blow to Stoke. Will Stoke City think again? I'm sure it was a learning experience, you know. They can't take us lightly next time. How did I prepare for it? Yeah, I mean, you can't defeat Grimsby Town twice. Let's just say that, you know. Uh, what did I make of the second half? I mean, we deserved the result. I feel like we were thoroughly a lot time. better. Just overall in the game. We'll skip through that. I don't want to spend too much time going through that. Uh, so we're up into eighth now. Um, now, I mentioned it was like we're going to be maybe struggling a bit. It's just I feel like I need to play a bit more games. That's all I think I need to be doing, is just play a bit more games. Bizarrely enough, we've got a game on Christmas Day in 2021, which is weird. Um, I don't know why we have... I, I, I thought every football club had, didn't play on Christmas Day, but, I mean, we're not going to play it. We're going to sim it. We're going to rotate the squad a little bit. Yeah, guys in the chat as well, if you have any like suggestions of any footballers that you want to see me potentially sign or drop a scout... Uh, on then just let me know uh, maybe it's one of your favorite footballers maybe it's a footballer from a local team that you support just let me know drop a message in the chat and I'll do everything in my power to uh, to certainly try to sign them I can't guarantee that I'll sign the players that you suggest but I'll certainly do my best to, to, to make it happen let's get Andilo on the pitch as well let's get McKeown because he's complaining being a little whiny pussy bitch um and let's put Clifton in there. So we're fully rotating the squad. Fully rotating the squad. I'm not I'm not sick at FIFA. This is this is against this is against the computer. If I I know that if I was to go up against like one of my friends or just anyone online, I'd get absolutely trashed. I mean, maybe it's something that I'll have to try out. Maybe I have to go up, go online against some people and see how I fare, but the level of the FIFA players nowadays is just insane it's insane i mean thanks for the compliment but i i know i'm not <laughs> I, I i am definitely not great at fifa oh xavier look at this guy this guy recently signed from our youth team promoted into the senior team he's already at 67 we just have such a brilliant young squad coming together and it's absolutely fucking amazing henry what are you telling me hey man stay grounded dude straight stay grounded Boss, you can't like fuck off, man. I can't lie, I was worried that you had plans for a place. I just felt a bit threatened by the new faces. Hey, dude, I expect great performances from you. You know what, mate? I expect more from you. Let's try and get the morale. Let's try and get the morale up a little bit. All right. You're my favourite YouTuber now. Hey, thanks, dude. Uh, let's Pereira. Don't worry, man. You were you were just rotated. It's fine. You'll be fine, dude. You're going back in the squad. It's going to be okay. So attend this press conference. Just skip through it. 
Thank you for your patience. We'll start taking Will we see now? more of Davis? You know what? Rotation is key, but also it's nothing personal. You know, it's nothing personal. A great heated encounter the last time. What is my expectation for this match? I mean, we will only we we, we will win. You know, we'll, we'll do our best to win at least. Does your team of what it takes to keep the momentum going? Yeah, man, our momentum isn't dropping. Don't know what you're on about. Don't know what you're on about there. Cool. Let's hurry up and skip through that. Let's make some changes. I still don't understand why my manager rating is going down to 64. Like, I've not done anything differently. And for some reason, my manager rating is just dropping like a stone. Like, what, what, more, what more do they want me to do? There's only so much I can do. I'm rotating the squad as well as I can. Trying to make sure that everyone is getting the game time that they deserve. I feel like a lot of it is just purely based around the fact that I don't really have like I don't really have enough they 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 want me to make a bunch of money and I just don't have any of that money. Like if you look at my financial, my profit is minus 887k. And you look at the financials, eight, they, they want me to, yeah, they, they, they want me to finish with a profit margin of 18 million. Yo, Owen Brown, got to go for 20 minutes, so we'll turn it to stream. Yeah, we'll probably still be on. I'll probably only stream till about half eight. Um, I don't like it to be too long, but yeah, we'll probably still be on. So see you later, man. Catch you on the flip side. Okay, let's come up against this whole city team. 29th of December, just before the turn of the new year. Getting into the busy fixture schedule now. We're going to go ahead and play this game. I'm still not confident in simming a lot of games at the moment. Just because... I don't know. We, our, we don't seem to be simming and winning as much as we used to in the lower divisions. So it's just something I'm going to have to get used to, I guess. And play a bit more games. Like I said, I mean, that was that that first game was completely unexpected. I was not expecting to win that three nil in the fashion that we did. But yeah, I'll take it. You know, I'm not going to complain about a three nil win. Here we go, whole city. Let's see just how dangerous they can be. Playing at home again. Here we go, kick off. At home against Hull City. I say, I mean, we switched up the formation to a 4-3-3 towards the end of the last time that we were live streaming, and it seems to have been working out for us. I'm not doing like any special instructions. Oh my word! Look at that sensational start to this game again. A very early goal. A very early goal. Sanchez rebounds with the through ball around the corner. Who is that? Is that Enriquez? It looks like it might be Enriquez. Look at that. Look at that. Just gets ahead of his man. Goalkeeper not expecting it, perhaps. Yeah, it's definitely Enriquez. Look at that. Just smacks it. Goalkeeper not, not reacting quick enough. There we go. 1 0. Straight away. That's what we needed to really get the crowd going. Get that early momentum. Hopefully, we can grab a second goal fairly quickly. Stevens, Stevens, track him. Let's track him. Don't let him cut back inside, though. No, that's yours all the way. Calm it down. Campbell Gordon plays it over to Cabral. Cabral back inside. Ah, uh, why would you? Cabral was not running at all. I don't understand why Cabral just stopped his run. He should have. He should have just continued. Well, second half the go, here we go, well. here we go. Dropped, Calm it down. Calm it down. That's well. it. Good Sound tackle. Good tackle. Week in, week Ten minutes played well. here is their first corner of the game. Get it away. No, not like that. Jesus Christ. Cabral plays it forward. Hold up play from race now. He's looking for someone in support. Sanchez Rebas has found him. And then Stevens again down on this near side. Sanchez Rebas goes for the shot. 
nice, nice defending, crucial defending there from the whole city fullback or centre back. Might have been a centre back, I don't know. Oh, they're trying to create a counter attack. That crossfield ball just doesn't come off. Play it forward to Sanchez Ribas. Hold up play. Hold up play from Sanchez Ribas. Oh, picks out his man. Gets the ball back. Bang that! Oh! Oh, what a goal that would have been. Look at that. Look at the curve on it. Look at the... Oh, I mean, I was never going to dip under, but look at the curve on that. Please tell me you guys saw that. You guys saw how much that swerved to the left, right? That was absolutely incredible. I need to get him in more, like, shooting positions like that. Back to goalkeeper. Back to goalkeeper. That's it. Let it go. Let it go. Nice and simple. Don't overcomplicate things. Race has now got it. Enriquez back to Sanchez Ribas. Oh, he tried the cheeky little through ball to race. It just didn't come off. Didn't come off. Stay on him. Stay on him, Hendry. Don't let him beat you like that. Show him down the line. Stephen Kingsley. Good reading of the game to win That's it. What well on Hendry? Oh, unlucky. Come across, come across. Oh, that would have been a nasty volley if that would have went through to him. Luckily for us, though, it didn't. Sanchez rebass. Oh, I think I might have went through a player's legs there. Goalkeeper did well to see that. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. I saw that. I saw that run at the far post. KWS Books in the chat. Yo, what's going on, dude? What is going on? How are you today, man? Apologies for not having a lot of uh, streams or any videos up over the weekend. I was uh, very much preoccupied, getting way too drunk than I care to mention. But we're back. We are back. We won the first game on the stream 3-0. We then simmed against Charlton. We drew that 0-0. Sanchez rebounds with the turn. Bang. Outside of the right boot. Look, KWS, KWS boot joins the chat and immediately we score. Definitely, definitely becoming something of a lucky charm for us. Look at this. Look at this, just turn up. Bang, he's turned his man, he's gone. No chance. Outside of the right boot. I have no idea why he didn't hit that with his left, but look at this. Ooh. I thought he was going to go near post, but maybe the goalkeeper did as well. But you know what? That's absolutely insane. Sanchez Rebas killing it yet again for us with Grimsley Town. Absolutely insane. You can hear the home fans showing their appreciation and support. No, no. Control it. Control it. Easy control. Sanchez Rebass is somehow still got it. Oh, is that him like suddenly, suddenly actually improving and, you know, being able to do stuff? I think we're eighth in the league at the moment. The reason I'm playing, I, I've played two games already is because... Our manager rating is like dropping because we're not meeting our financial targets. Sanchez Ribas. Oh, he's got too much curve. He got, he's got too much curve. No, don't leave. Don't leave, dude. Don't. <laughs> You're not leaving, man. Can't leave. I'm not going to let you leave, dude. <laughs> I mean, feel free to leave. If you, if you want to leave, I'm not going to stop you from leaving. But if you come back and we're 2-2... Two -two, there's going to there's gonna be words, by the way. We're going to have words if you come back and they immediately score. Or if you come back and we're 2-2. Two -two. Nah. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to sit you down and, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should be like, mate, you're not, you're not leaving. I'm gonna, like, I'll tie you to the stream. <laughs> oh. Sanchez Rebass. No, Sanchez Rebash, you need to work on your strength still. We are, we, we do have him in the strength training, but we, just, we, need, we need him to work on his strength constantly because he always gets shrugged off the ball far too often. Even though he's like six foot one, six foot two, it's just he always just gets shrugged off the ball, and it's way too easy for the opposition. Here we go. Break back inside. Oh, race is running. 
Sanchez Rebas. <laughs> oh my word! I keep, I keep, uh, I keep doing too much for Sanchez Rebas. You know, I keep doing too much. Like I always demand way too much from him. It's, I think it's because in the back of my head I know that he's scored some absolute screamers for us already. Like not just in this season, but in you know the three years that we've had him, or however long it's been, the two seasons that we've had Sanchez Rebas at the club, he's been an absolute machine in front of goal. You know, he finished second in League One in terms of the Golden Boot race last year. I don't think he's going to come anywhere near that again this season, but you never know. He has been insanely good for us in front of goal so far, so if he can continue that, then that would be brilliant. Stay on him, stay on him, Davis. Oh, oh just over the top. From New Adico. Well, he's had a go, Derek. He's gone for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there, was it? Making a substitution. Hendry's coming off for Darbo. Darbo leaving us in just a few days' time in January. I can't remember who else is leaving us as well. I don't think Cabral is. Someone else is leaving us. We, we've been forced to make a couple of uh, January transfers out of the club because they didn't want to play for us anymore, which is. It's a bit. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but again, there's nothing I can do once your head is in that sort of mindset where you're not going to be playing for the club anymore. There's really only so much a manager can do to try and keep you. Ref! Oh, I thought that was going to be a penalty. The, f the way that Sanchez Rebas managed to get across the goalkeeper there and somehow almost have an attempt on target was just insane. Here comes Ronnie Lopez, is that is that Ronnie Lopes? I don't know. My uh, knowledge of whole City goal or players is not, not great. Oh, what was that? That was goddamn fucking awful, that's what that was. Come on. Good interception. Could be a chance to break here. Can they keep it going? You're offside. Oh yeah, I thought, I thought, what's his face was offside down there at the bottom. I don't know who that was that run forward, but I thought that maybe, maybe Enriquez is that. I thought he was offside. I genuinely thought he was offside. It looks like Cabral. Yeah, Cabral. I thought Cabral was offside. Hassan fella has it, has one attempt and then has a second and delivers at the final time of asking. Look at that, hits it sweetly on the volley. Goalkeeper, completely no chance. This is a rivalry game, so I should win. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Where? Actually, I'd never. I've never. I don't know where Grimsby is in the UK. So I'm assuming it must be somewhere. Oh, I know it's north of where I am. Okay, my geography wasn't my strong point. So it must be near Hull by that deduction. What a punch from Pereira! Oh, get it away. Get it away, get it away. If we can come away from this game then, if it's a, I don't know, local derby. Good tackle from their man. We do pass it back to Sanchez Rebas though, however. Ah, oh, unlucky. I like the thought. I like the intent, guys. I like the intent. The attacking creativity is just... Absolutely flowing today. I can say, I mean, we haven't even really done anything different. We just switched up the formation to 4 3 3. Oh, ho, ho. Sanchez Rebas. The audacity to shoot from there. Look at this, look. The audacity to just hit that. Goalkeeper, I mean, straight at him. But never never an easy save with that, that amount of power on it. Dabo. Oh, the camera angle. There you go, 3-0, final score. Grimsby is next to Hull, fair enough, fair enough. Well, we do come away with a win in a local derby then. Hopefully the fans will be pleased about that. I'm going to, I think my heating's still on. It's getting quite toasty in my room. I'm just going to go quickly turn off my heating if it's on. <laughs> Sorry about that. I mean, I thought that I turned off my heating before I started streaming, and it turns out I just left the radiator on, so 
that's why it was getting fairly hot in this room. Um, which I don't mind, of course, because it's fucking cold outside. But yeah, I didn't want the. Uh, I didn't. I didn't want to burn myself oh, to death. Just basically, questions about the match. How satisfied was I? Am I with Davis? He deserves all of the praise. Of course, he does. You know what? It's a competition. It's a competition. You dealt a strong blow to your rival. I found performance. How did you prepare? All matches are equally perform. You know, Thanks, it's a rivalry, you. but they're, they're they're all important to us. They're all important. Great win, boss. I told you. No, look, Pereira, we would have won with or without you, but great job, dude. Great job. You made. You did make a good couple of key saves. So I'm not going to complain about that. Oh, FA Cup. Ah, oh, we have to play this, don't we? Uh, right, so we're going to go into January, which means, guys, which means that we can sign players. Or we can have a go at trying to sign players. So, you know you know what that means. If you've got any suggestions on players, I'm particularly looking for a right back and maybe a left mid. I feel like I'm good in all other positions. I need a right back and a left mid Is is, is who I'm looking for. Gabriel Xavier, look at that, 67, 17 years old, 88 to 94. This kid is going to be insane. That potential is probably the highest potential I've seen in any of the youngsters that we've scouted. Look at that though, 88 to 94. The guy is going to be insane. Like This guy is going to be absolutely mental. I don't want to like rush, I don't want to rush him into the first team though, even though I know he's going to be absolutely insane. Let's have a look at some of the other players that we have scouted though. Emilio Quiroga, my Sharona, no you're not. Ricardo Sanchez, that just sounds, I mean, I was about to say that sounds like a made up name and it, I mean technically it is. There, yeah, he could be a left mid, keep him in there. Your, your, your ratings are too low, all of you guys get out. We'll leave Ricardo Sanchez in there, for now. Let's see what Jordan Cooper's got for us. Sam Davis, 56 to 60, 88 to 94. Ooh. Is that a CDM? We could do with a CDM, actually. I don't need another goalkeeper. You're not great. Neither are you. Neither are you. Neither are you. Lewis Richardson could be decent, could be decent. So could you. We'll leave you guys in there. Hargreaves. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't, even, <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that anymore. <laughs> I hear that far too much on a daily basis. I don't know how to respond to that anymore, Gion. I, I, what, what do you want me to do? Adriano Amaral. Yeah, you can stay in there. Nah, I don't want you. You're you're going to take forever. 74 to 94. That's that's what I'm talking about. 70 to 94. Not you, Hugo Azevedo. We'll leave these guys in there. We'll leave them in there. Hargreaves does not exist on this game anymore. Okay. I need... I need a right back. Because I know that Darbo is leaving me. I thought he was leaving me in January, but he might be leaving me at the end of the season. So I'm literally just looking for a right back. There's no transfer listed right backs. In that age range. Uh, anyone that's got a release clause? Oh, there are some, some with a release clause. That might be an interesting route to go down. Let's see if there's like... Who is... Who is this guy? Where, where's the guy that was 50... 53 million? Nah, that's too much. Jaden Bogley. Bogle? Jade, Jade? I don't know. I'm completely butchering that name, right? Bogley. This guy. Bogle. Whatever you want to call it. Is a there's a right back playing in Benfica? What? Man, and he's English as well. That's cool. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm always appreciative of English players going abroad and proving themselves. 
Alex Baker, who is this guy? No, it doesn't look great, does he? Maybe he is great. Rodrigo Bentanco, yeah, no, you're way too much for me. Deli Ali, just sign up Deli Ali, yeah, Billy Camps, bet he does. Uh, there's Chapman. This guy looks alright. This guy looks alright. Drop a cheeky scalp on him. Angel Gomez, Ben Woodburn. See, all of these players are just way too much. Pablo Fornals. There we go. That's a player. That's a player to to sign up, right? It's a player to sign up. Let's just, yeah, why not? Let's just get Pablo Fornals in the club. See, this is what I mean. We're doing so well. But we're 64 in terms of our manager like rating. Cabral up to 71. I think he just snuck up. So did Henriquez up to 71. Stevens is still there. 68. Dujon Sterling. Dujon Mustard. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at him in a minute. Uh, so, for the purposes of keeping my board happy. Because I need to keep the board happy as much as possible. I'm actually going to play this FA Cup game. And hope to win. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Because, yeah. I'm going to rotate the squad a little bit. But yeah, like I say, I need to... I need to play this to win. Oh yeah, shit. McKeown fucked off, didn't he? Yeah, fuck. McKeown went. And so did Darbo. Darbo's gone. Fuck, yeah, I need a right back, guys. Definitely need a right back. Uh, Ludwig Amman. Yeah, I need a right back. I don't have any other right backs. Huh. That could be an issue if... Um, What's-his-face gets uh, gets an injury. If Hendry picks up an injury, that could be a, a huge issue. But like I say, guys, we're going to play this game. I know we played one just now. I'll probably sim maybe one or two games after this just to, you know, expediate the process a bit, but... Yeah, we need to uh, we need to do this. I'll have a look at Dujon Sterling. I forgot about that. I'll have a look at Dujon Sterling after this um, after this game. I'll have a look at Dujon Sterling. He's a right back. That's good. That's good. We need a, we need definitely need a right back. I don't know if we need a goalkeeper. I mean, we've got a backup goalkeeper in Battersby, but obviously we don't have McKeon anymore because he went away. He just felt that, you know, he wasn't getting enough game time with us, which is fair enough. He just Hi, wasn't, and I couldn't day. promise him game time. Game. We need to maybe sort out some of our players' contracts as well, which might help to increase morale. Um, so, yeah, see how this goes. Like I say, Bristol playing a sort of weakened squad. Hopefully we can come away with the win. Hopefully this 4-3-3 still is working. We've got Ndilu starting for us. We signed at the start of the season for about a million quid. Funnily enough, Ndilu also got sort of suggested to me by my scout in Football Manager 2020 on my phone. Mason Moore! Oh, goalkeeper. David Martin, yes! Yes, what a oh, what a performance that was on the weekend, by the way. Like, you see how emotional we got as well. That was just so like that was, man. I f I wanted to cry, you know, like the fact that he's been there and it's his childhood club, and in the first game that he plays for them, he keeps a clean sheet against Chelsea. That's absolutely insane. And you see him after the game as well, embracing his dad. Like, man, my heart goes out to him. Definitely, definitely. Needs to be starting more games. Like you just see how much it meant to him, and I feel like that will definitely translate itself into like performances on the pitch. Like get rid of Roberto, like that guy. Oh my word, such a liability. But the fact that David Martin like didn't didn't choke under pressure. You know he he was a real professional. There we go. First goal. Who is that? Is that Moore? Is that Mason Moore? Might be Mason Moore. Yeah, it's definitely Mason Moore. Yeah, we'll have a look at David Martin because, yeah, why not? I don't know who, who that Silverfeld guy is. 
I just seen someone called Silverfelt on my team, but I don't think I've got anyone called Silverfelt. I don't know uh, if that's like a glitch, but... Hmm. Alright, there we go. 1-0 in this FA Cup game. Just just, just be it simple. Play it simple. Mason Moore, the young whiz kid. Mason Mount, am I right? Basically. He's got the same first name, so it's basically the same thing. Stay on him. That's it. Harry Clifton. Daylou. Oh, Clifton unlucky. Unlucky. Yeah, I'd definitely drop a scout on David Martin, because why the fuck not? That's us. Oh. Come on. Control. Oh, that's alright, that's alright. Good pressure. Good pressure on the header there. Forces a mistake. Look for the 1 2. Mason Moore absolutely dictating the play in the middle of the pitch. Well, Can't get the return ball back more. from Wendilu though, so a bit sloppy, a bit sloppy from Wendilu. Maybe just lacking a bit of a match sharpness. He hasn't really been featuring for us recently, but we're certainly going to try and rotate him into the team. He's offside. Offside. Good line there from the defence. Good intentional offside trap, of course. 100% intentional. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball, but on the break they've been devastating. The I don't understand. It feels like we've had a lot of the ball. They've been electric when they've had the ball. Got that Mason Moore ball. ball run. Rare fucking hell! Jesus Christ! All right, all right, we'll whip this. Whip this. Whip this. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. Uh, no yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. All right, thinking. let's just go with Edwards. Let's whip this, whip this. Uh, I don't know. I still don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do free... I don't know why they changed free kicks. Give me the old style of free kicks in FIFA, and I know what to do. I know, I know how to do old school free kicks in FIFA, but I can't... I can't deal. Is it? Does anyone know if there's an option to go back to like old free kicks? Because this new free kick system is just complete bullshit. Like I liked having to, you know, line up, line up the players and do all of that sort of stuff. That was always great fun. Uh, do I have the sound coming out of there? I don't. Cool. That must have just been in my headphones. Good save from the goalkeeper, though. Over it comes. Not all that convincing defensively. That's it. Just calm it down. Upson. Don't overcommit. Don't overcommit. Riley. Couldn't keep it. Oh, nice one too. Oh, more. More for his second. He just misses it. It's a nice little one-two from Indidu there. Just gone past the post. Very nice little one too. Get it away. Good header, good header. Calm it down. Get it under control. There you go, there's a half-time whistle. Very good performance so far, I'd like to say so. <coughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is definitely an okayish team. They all seem to be relatively happy with the way that they're playing. No one's too tired. Elliot Hewitt. Fucking thunderous strike. Brilliant assist. Through ball from Ndilu. Woo! 2-0. I mean, FIFA's just too easy now. FIFA's just too easy. Bang! Goalkeeper has absolutely no chance. Elliot Hewitt, first goal in the FA Cup this season. Brilliant, brilliant goal as well. 2-0. Fantastic, lads. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll... I don't know if we've got any youngsters on the on the bench that we can bring on. The EFL Championship, January the 8th against Millwall. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All of my, half of my players are going to get stabbed. Oh, it shouldn't be a belter because half my players will be stabbed. And it's Harry Clifton here. Harry Clifton. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. 
Ah, oh, Elliot Hewitt just tried to do a bit too much. He was waiting, he was looking, he was looking for the run, but... Moving forward effectively. Ludwig, Ludwig. Ludwig, good and defending, just hold your ground. Look at the Bristol City Rovers fans being very vocal now, not, not happy with what they're seeing. So straight to Oli Battersby there, straight into his thankful, forgiving arms. Look at that. Bang. Joff through. Oh my word, what a, what a shit goal. <laughs> what a shit goal that is, but I'll take it. I'll take it. That's it. Bow. Bow to the audience. Absolute disrespect. See the away fans going absolutely mental. Look at this. Look, I thought he took a bit of a, you know, a bit too much time to get his shot away, but definitely a deflection. Yeah, it just comes off of the heel of one of their defenders. Nothing the goalkeeper can really do about that. Edwards is coming off. I can bring Sanchez Rebass on for Edwards. Cool. Now we've got Sanchez Rebass and Hindilu on the pitch. Sanchez Rebass, ideally I was hoping to rest him. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention to the uh, substitute. So, you know what? We'll see what they can do together on the pitch. I feel like Sanchez Rebass will not stay wide. Sanchez Rebass is definitely going to be the player that will cut back inside. Here we go. Now can they counter clinically? Beautifully disguised ball. Looks and Dalu right still go. And Dalu still put pressure on. Meh. We're now inside the final. No, oh, no, no, no. Hendry, Hendry, Hendry. Space on the flank. Space and time for the cross. Oh my god, what a goal that is. What a goal that is. What a goal that is. What a, what a dummy from that Bristol Rovers player at the near post. What a dummy that is. Look at this. I mean, Hendry just didn't have enough stamina to chase with him. Look at that. Dummy. Ah. Not the best. Not the best from us, but 3-1. It's given a Bristol Rovers fan... You know, something to cheer about, something to get excited about at least. Sloppy, sloppy pass, as the commentator just said there. But yeah, you know what? It's giving them something to cheer about. Why not? We felt a bit sorry for them. That's that's the excuse. That's the excuse we're going to use. We just let them in back into the game. Gave them a bit of hope, but we know that it's not going to come to anything. Hopefully, it's fine. That's a goal kick. Yes. Cool. Well, okay Alright, don't have to do anything special lads, do not have to do anything special. Harry Clifton. Oh, play it to feet. Please play it to feet next time, don't try to play it through. Good defending, good defending, get back up, get back up on your feet. Yes Hendry. Plays it to Ndilu. Oh, good hold up play from Ndilu to be fair. Ref, handball! Where's the VAR in this game? Where the hell is the VAR? Upson. Is that Matty Upson? It's not Matty Upson, is it? Sanchez, ah, oh, what is? Why, why would you not then start running forward? I don't. Can someone like explain? Two minutes added on. Come across and help out. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. It's offside. Offside. Thank God. Thank God. That was almost embarrassing. Definitely offside. All right, let's go. There we go. 3-1. Home fans not happy. Absolutely not happy. You can hear them booing. Let's go to the post-match press conference. Oh, what is it? It's 8 o'clock. Maybe another half hour or so. And I think I'll call it a night.
got to get an early night's sleep. You know, it was a long weekend and I didn't really get a lot of sleep yesterday. I felt a bit rough all day today. Uh, some questions regarding the match. What are my impressions on the game? I'm happy with the boys. You know, I'm happy with the boys. What do we do? We focus on our next game? We focus on our next game? No, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy coming up against him. I mean, scored no, the goal. No. Put us on the back foot for a bit, but hey. Oh, up to 66 now from 64. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Joseph Starbuck is back. Okay. I mean, probably get rid of him straight away. But Jace, Starbuck is back. Starbucks are back, guys. Got rid of Costa. And Costa has been traded in for Starbuck. Shit joke, I know. I know. Really shit joke. Mason Moore up to 65 rated there. Burnham almost up to 67. Going to be a good utility backup striker for us. Sim forward. I think the next game is against Millwall. We'll probably end up simming that game. Oh, actually, we've had a we've had, we had a couple of suggestions in the chat. Let's not forget about those. Dujon Sterling, David Martin. Let's see. Let's see how much David Martin's actually going for. You know. Uh, Sterling. Not Raheem. Dujon. Dujon Mustard. Yeah, just drop a scout on him. Drop a scout on Dujon. And then Martin. Oh, I was, gonna, I was about to say, I'm, I'm sorry, but Martin's not in it, but I just can't spell his name right. David Martin He's not in the game. David Martin is not in the game. Well shit. I don't know why. I don't know why David Martin's not in the game. But he's not in the game. So there's nothing I can do about that. Do -do -do. Right, let's carry on swimming forward. I think our next game is against Grim uh, Millwall. Yeah, there it is. Millwall in the league. Well, 40 points after 26 games. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I feel like if we just finished outside the, the, the playoff zone, the playoff spots, whatever you want to call it, I feel like we'll be okay in terms of being in charge. Look, we're up to 70. Oh, my gosh. We find the board is actually finally a tiny bit happy with us. They're actually really a tiny bit happy with us, which is incredible, guys. Absolutely incredible scenes. Right. Let's get the old gang back together, yeah, shall we? Let's get the gang back together. Steven's up there. Enrique's in there. Clifton's snuck up a bit. Race in there. Clifton in there now instead. Pollock back there. Uh, put Campbell Gordon back in. And then Pereira back in as well. Boom. Look at that. Starbuck is 58. Meh. You're... you're, you're you're not great, mate. I'm sorry about that. Let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. We got we got a good good enough bench. A similar game away from home against Millwall. They're not on the best of streaks. Come on, please. Oh, three-one. Enriquez getting two goals. Sanchez Ribas with the third as well. They do pull one back in the 66th minute. But, you know what, 3-1, not going to complain about that. Not going to complain about that. Yo, KWS Book is back. I've dropped a uh, I've dropped a scout on Dujon Sterling. Why are we we're back down to 69? Why are we back down to 69? Did we sign a right back? I, I haven't. We, we, we played the game in the FA Cup because one of our goals of the FA Cup is to, you know, make it into the round of 32. And I just wanted to ensure that we would do that. I have dropped a scout on Dujon Sterling. Um, not, still not sorted out my right back situation. I do need a left mid as well. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, please let me leave. It was inevitable. It was inevitable. You know what? Vernon was going to leave anyway. The, the guy was going to leave. We're not on track. What? They tell, they tell me we're not on track all the time, and it's because we don't have enough money. Well, I'm not, the only way that I make that 18 million is by selling Sanchez Rebath for like 20 million. It's literally the only way that we do that, and I'm 
I refuse to do that. I absolutely refuse to do it. It's our lucky number. What, 69? 69. <laughs> Yeah, you're not wrong. 69 is our lucky number. You know, you know 69 is our lucky number. No, I don't know. I like this guy. I like this guy. He's a, he's a pretty good player. He's a pretty good player. You know, you know all about 69 being our lucky number from the Pokemon playthrough. Which, um, I still need to actually finish that. I still need to finish that. I need to upload the final episode. Or, I say episode. I'm not going to live stream. I'm just going to make a separate episode of me first thing the champion maybe like 10 minutes long or however long it takes me to beat him burnham ah oh yeah burnham burnham can go they want him for 650k yeah he has to we have to let him go he's not he's just not playing for us he's not getting a lot of uh, game time there's nothing we can do about that i'm sorry about that burnham you've been a very good servant to the club you know, i'm not going to take that away from you but it's just time for you to go i guess Time for you to go. 680k. Maybe should have held out for that. Oh, whole city want him. Whole city want him. I, I don't want to sell him to whole city. Maybe, maybe I'll accept it. Whatever. You know, we. I'm not going to stop him from leaving. And I want more money. I want the most money that I can get with Brentford now. I think we sim this game and play the next one. That's what I think we do. We do we're actually flying relatively high at the moment in the league, just outside. The playoff positions. Let's go. Nil 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 away from home. I will take. I will take nil nil away from home. That's a that's a pretty decent result for us. Seventy one. We're back up to seventy one. The 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 board doesn't know whether to you know believe in me or not. Oh, I should have taken Vernon out of the training if he's not going to be playing for us anymore. Should have taken Vernon out. I think we still need a left mid. I'm still going to be looking for a left mid. I know it's coming up to the end of the transfer window. Transfer offer for more. Hey, this guy is that is ridiculous. This guy is not worth that. He's worth at least. All right, he's worth at least. I'll block offers for more actually. More is worth at least like two million, at least. Final scout report on Brandon Moore. Who was this guy? I can't remember who it was. Where's the inbox? Ah. I accidentally pressed. I left or right. There we go. Oh, we got rid of him to Hull City. I'll look for a left mid. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. The help is very much appreciated. Ellis Chapman. I mean, I don't need centre mid. James Holmes. Who is this guy? It's just... Just, just Jamie Vardy in disguise. Look at him. His speed and everything. That's just, just, just Jamie Vardy in disguise. Simple as, simple as. That is just Jamie Vardy in disguise. Daryl Parkhouse. Uh. Okay. No. Uh, see, I, I need a left mid. I need a good left mid. I need a good young left mid that we can implement into the team. Let's do a bit of rotation. Why not? Let's get more. On the pitch, let's get White House a bit of a run out. Edwards and Delu. Oh, and Delu up to 69. Definitely is our lucky number. It has to be. Battersby can get in there. Ring can get in there. See, this is what I mean. Uh, let's put someone right. Max right. You can go on the left. Like I say, the only left mid that I have is Cabral. I mean, he's, he's great, but I don't have any backup to him. I just don't have any backup to him. So, again, if he gets injured, no hope. Ah, uh, 2-0. 2-0, I mean, our unbeaten run wasn't going to go on for long. But Sad to see it end like that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We are playing West Ham in the FA Cup. Oh my gosh. 
I need to, I need to, uh, I need to let my friend know. Because the Supreme Comrade in the chat is a West Ham fan. So, apologies for this. This is really bad on a live stream to be do doing this. But, I need him to actually watch me play this. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's have a look at the notifications. Play a chat. Yes, don't worry. You are going to play, mate. I also just backed out of my inbox. We're not on track. Stop telling me we're not on track. Oh, Dujon Sterling. So, Jesus, this guy's good. I don't have the wage for him. I don't have the wage for him, though. I don't, I don't have enough money for him. I'm fairly certain I don't have that amount of wage available to just spend on someone like that. Actually, maybe, maybe I do. Maybe I do, but I don't have. <laughs> I definitely don't have the money. Hmm. Uh, frustrating. Fucking frustrating is what that is. Actually, why does it why does it confuse me? I've got plenty of money for him. Why does that why does it confuse me like that? I've got plenty of money for this Dujon Sterling guy geezer. Let's see if we can. Ah uh, no, press the wrong one. Youth development, whatever, whatever. Uh, let's have a look at Dujon. Let's shortlist him and view him. Um. Oh, look at this guy, Maximiliano Rogel. We missed out on him. 19 years old, 70 rated. What a what a signing that would have been. Bazookis is still there. Lopez Blanco again, another free agent that we missed out on. There's our good old friend David Tavares, still doing well. I see. Wait for the Vernon offer to come through. I think it's already come through. Vernon, uh, we sold Vernon to Hull, and we got about 400k. To our wage budget. Let's actually. Uh, uh, let's approach to buy. Why not? Why not? Let's go. How much do you reckon we'll have to pay to? Well, I think we're going to be really cheeky and try to like really lowball it. I want to really lowball it. I'd say two point eight million. Two point eight million. Oh, but we were. Oh, look, it's Frank Lampard as well. Look at that CGI Frank Lampard. 2.9. And they want a 4% sell on free. I mean, yeah, sure. Sure. I'll do that. Let's negotiate his deal. He's definitely going to become our highest earning player. That might also screw up our sort of profit targets. He's going to be crucial. Of course he fucking is. I want him there for at least three years. One year. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. The disregard the release clause. His wage. He's on 36k at the moment. Let's go and offer him 25k. 24 and a half. Cool. I'll be cheeky and get away from it. Uh, I'll happily have Sterling. Welcome to the club, Dujon. Dion Pereira. I've just seen that recommendation. Dion Pereira. Got a good right back. We've got a first team right back now, actually. Now Henry's dropped back a bit. Who is this Dion Pereira guy? Pereira. How do I spell that? Pereira. Pereira. Like that. Fuck, not two Oz. Dion Pereira. <laughs> okay. Oh, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. How, how do you know all of these good, like, English players abroad, man? I mean, that, that's awesome that you know it, but, like, that's that's some, that's some in-depth knowledge. <laughs> Jaime Thomas Prestes Cadetti. Hammers homies. Nah, I'll leave it for that. But that's, that is some insightful knowledge. Alright, we've got West Ham. 
I don't think my friend's seen my message. I don't think he's going to come and hang out as we beat West Ham. Need to make some changes to the team. Stevens back in there. Cabral back in there. Enriquez back in there. This is going to be basically a first team. Oh, what the hell was that in my ear? Oh, apologies for that. I just felt something. It felt like something called in my ear, which is alarming. Um, but I don't think it. I don't. I don't think anything did. Dujon, Dujon, look at that. His pace is absolutely insane. Uh, uh, doo -doo -doo. I don't know what's going on with my left ear, man. I don't know what's going on with my left ear. That f just feels weird. Definitely feels like there's a bug in, up inside my ear. Oh, fuck. Maybe I'm just like <laughs> properly overreacting and it's just, uh, you know, I'm just seeing things or feeling things. I don't know. Play a lot of FIFA. Yeah, I mean, dude, fair enough, you know. I, my, I mean, my knowledge for young players is decent just from too much football manager. But then again, I don't think there's anything. I, I don't think there's any such thing as too much football manager. The only reason I don't play it on here is because I don't think I could make football manager entertaining. And I wouldn't want to sit down and just play football manager. Like I say, my football manager campaigns tend to not go as I expect them to go, and I just play it just for fun. I don't play it for like you know being good at the game. I play it for messing around with tactics and seeing how it goes. And nine times out of ten, it goes worse more often than not it goes bad well, we the, uh, oh we're playing at home certainly <laughs> one of the most interesting features of the match we're about to bring you and it's live and it's live here we go let's go against west ham here the grimsby town stadium it's definitely not called town park hopefully some teams are suited to knock out football Others aren't, but we've got a couple of sides here, I think, that the uh, harboring ambitions are going all the way. In this oh, game. I should have. Why did I? 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 Why did I try and cut back? And this is the lineup for the home side. Go on, Dujon. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time. I think really they invented it, and uh, plenty of countries have adopted it since. Oh, Sanchez Rebas shouldn't have shouldn't have had any right to shoot from there. Oh, he's pulled it back for a yellow card. Guila Vogi. Head that, Dujon. Come on, Duj. Come on, Duj. Dujon Mustards. What is going on? Stay on him, Dujon. Dujon. Track back, tracking back, Dujon. Good tracking back. Still nil nil here. I hope that we can win. Otherwise, I'm going to be really annoyed. Oh, oh, good tackle. I mean, that was such a dive from Clifton, but it was a solid challenge from whoever that defender was. No, 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 no. no. That's it. Send him wide, send him wide. In these oh, he tries to beat us on a near post. Well, the Goalkeeper had it covered, I feel, but a couple of unsuccessful slide challenges, and you know they were in, they were in there. I don't even know who that was. I think that's a West Ham new signing. Oh my gosh! Come on, guys, don't let the pressure get to us, man. We're at home. We're at home. Here we go. See Dujon. Game still level, but the pressure might be counting. Ah, uh, Alejandro. And won the ball cleanly. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my God! This game is not changing the player that I wanted to change to. That's why all my players were just like static because I was like, no, I want, I don't want that player. I don't want that player. I don't want that player. And then ten seconds later, oh, I finally have the player that I want. Oh, where's the ball? It's gone past my man. Okay. Offside, offside. Look, I see you trying to do that little flick. We moved our defence up the pitch, and it was offside. Completely, completely, 100% meant that as well. So, 
we're looking for someone to come and support. Pass it! I pressed the A button, please. Encouraging play from this team now. Keeping the ball. Going for goal. Oh! Power, but no placement. Yeah, a little wild in his technique there. Insane. Insane, that. but not a goal. Not a goal. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know if this will be my last game. Depends on how I feel afterwards. Maybe coming, we'll play this game and stop. Maybe we'll play this game and continue. Who knows? Maybe we'll just sim to the end of January and see how that goes. Maybe we'll wait for Pereira's That's scout to come in. I guess it depends on how I feel after this game. I think the likelihood is that if I don't win this, then it'll probably be a night. It'll probably be a night if I don't win this. If I end up losing it with like a late goal. Yeah, there's no more FIFA being played tonight if that happens, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Absolutely no chance of me playing any more FIFA. Oh. Ref, you should have pulled that back. You should have pulled that back. There was no advantage to be played there. Good, good defending there from Campbell Gordon. I mean, he just blocks off the man, but I'll take it. I take it. Yeah, it have to be. Solid and crunching in those in those situations. It's it's Ale. Ale Ale Ale. Ale another another offside. Unlucky Ale. Un fucking lucky. Ale Ale Ale. Two more minutes to play. Ah, this West Ham pissed me off. Good this this game is so unrealistic. West Ham are not this good in real life. Ah! Oh well. Oh well. Nil nil at the half. We haven't found Sanchez Rebas in, in any kind of space going forward. You know, he's been very isolated up top. I feel like that's probably what was in West Ham's game plan going into this game, but it very much feels like he's been isolated and targeted at the top of the pitch. And he hasn't, you know, he's had a couple of shots, but none of them really meaningful. Stay on him, Dujon. Stay on oh, Don't let him do you like that. Yes, Duj. Calm it down, calm it down. Oh, why did you hit that from there, man? Such a tame shot. I thought he was going to absolutely larrap that, but he just didn't. No, Hallo and his fucking hold up play. Dooge. Dooge. Uh, good defending, good defending. Here we go, Edson Race. On the counter. That's it. Sanchez repass! Oh, I thought that was in. Oh, I thought that was in. Oh, that, that was that was the opportunity, man. That was a good move. It was a good move from you know being down at one end and the movement going forward was absolutely incredible from the lads. But what do you think about West Ham's next game? They're playing Leicester City in their next match in the semi-final second leg. And, uh, two oh! and, uh, it's got look of an Don't even ask me what that sound was I just made. I mean, uh, what do I expect, you know? We're coming up against West Ham, a Premier League team with a championship side. The only player that we have who can make it into this team would be Sanchez Rebas, I would hope at least. Dude, where the f Dujon? I mean, I know it wasn't Dujon. But he's just not offering the outlet. There's no one offering an outlet pass. No one running forward to offer the simple pass to help us work it out. From the back, look, no one. No one was in space. Oh, dude. Dude. Good defending. Calm it down, calm it down, calm it down, calm it down. Oh, this is getting frustrating now. This is very, very frustrating. Like I say, I mean, it's... Dujon! 
how's your pace? Not that good. Somehow I got back though. Goalkeeper's got that. Good tracking back though from Dujon, but he does show that he's got pace, which is always great. He's just trying to play too many intricate balls forward. Well, just not working. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Fuck! Yeah. Yep. I saw that coming. I saw that coming. Nice Fuck Calla. Fuck West Ham. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Right, right, right. <laughs> I don't. Know, I'm trying to what figure to something to change. say, but I just, I, I, I don't have anything to say right now. On a of now. Oh, he's scuffed his shot. Just bobbled just before he hit that, and he absolutely scuffed that shot. Right, I think. Yeah, uh, I don't. Uh, book. Don't. <laughs> Uh, right, we're going to switch to attacking. I know, I know, right, I know. Okay, I know. I'm terrible. I'm absolutely terrible. Go ultra attacking. Fuck it. Let's go. Fucking go for it, lads. I don't know if this will, like, help me meet my target or if this will mean that I fail my target. Good, good clearance. Look at that. Inventive. Inventive. Here comes Hessenfella. Hessenfella storming forward. Well, it's a big support here for them. Here we go, Clifton. Clifton. Ah! Oh! One of you, one of you, one of you, one of you. We're going to run our players into the ground. I don't care. What is Dujon Sterling doing all the way on this near side? I don't know. The guy's a fucking right back. Anyone? Anyone want it? Anyone? Safety first there. Maybe the chance. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I had a chance, and I just fucking hesitated on the ball. Hesitated on the ball. Well, there you go. Out of the FA Cup. What can you? I, uh, what can you do? What can you do? Are we going to be really outrageous in this post-match press conference? Are we just going to be like, "Hell, fuck West Ham," all of this bullshit? Just a moment of your time. You know what? We failed to make chances count. Oh shit! Well, I didn't mean to do that. All right, all right. Let's, let's, get, let's bring the morale back up. Bring the morale back up. Bring the morale back up a little bit. <laughs> Thank you for your time. I don't mean to say that, team. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for lowering your morale there. Oh, objectives update. I don't know if we're on track or not. Hey, dude. Influential performance. I'm proud of you, dude. That's it. Keep them happy. Treat them happy. Keep them flappy. Whatever that. Whatever the saying is. Uh, yes, okay, okay. So we've achieved that FA Cup objective we reached the round of 32 that's where we got knocked out so round four is a round of 32 cool still need to avoid relegation which seems like we're doing all right finish mid table which it seems like we're going to do financial we're at 15 percent this we're at 40 percent we've got still, still got two more seasons left youth development is where we're lacking but they just want me to make money off of my youth players which i could quite easily do but i love investing in the youth system and I love some of the players that you can find via the youth system as well all right Vernon is out of the training uh, do we have any young players who can be trained up uh, maybe Dujon maybe we just start investing in Dujon and he becomes like an insane right back or oh, Campbell Gould I think we invest in Campbell Gordon just because he's not quite 70. And he's defending isn't that great. So let's let's do that. Let's put Campbell Gordon back in. I think we're going to sim for Xavier up to 68. 
insane. That guy's definitely going to be starting ahead of Stevens very, very soon. Still only in the youth squad, though. Uh, right, I'm going to swim forward, and then I think I'm going to call it a day, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always, for everyone. Uh, thank you for coming out and... Uh, coming out? You're not, it's not like you're even going anywhere. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Oh, look, Liverpool. Fucking hell, this guy's going to be insane, then. Liverpool have signed one of the youth players that we were scouting. He's going to be absolutely insane. It's Jaden Bogley. Okay, yeah, that guy's maybe a bit too expensive to what we were looking for, but still, Dion Pereira, his scouting is not going to come through in time, which is annoying. I need to check on who this Amaral kid was and just how badly I've missed out on him, because I feel like it's very badly. Uh, Adriano Amaral. Yeah, he's, oh, he's a right mid. I don't need a right mid. But if Liverpool are going after him, surely he's going to be insane, right? Liverpool have got him. Surely he's going to be an absolutely insane player. Maybe we need to actually sign up some of these players. I, I don't think I want you. Carlos Linz. Uh... Apologies for that. I just had a bit of a sneeze I had to get rid of. Um, damn. Damn, that is annoying, isn't it? Uh, oh well, there's nothing we can do about that. Again, I fucking got shit cold. Sam Davis, I think I need to sign you up into the squad. Let's have a look at Morgan Rose, there's only one I need to sign up. Nah, not, not, not just yet, we'll leave you there. But, like I say, guys, we're going to go ahead and swim forward a bit. Next game is going to be against Derby. But, that's going to be the game for the start of the next live stream. We're in 11th. It's not too not too bad. Transfer offer from Max Wright. Actually, we can probably get rid of him, right? Probably get rid of him. Yeah, let's get rid of him. I mean... He's not really doing anything for us at the moment, and we've got that Xavier kid coming through our youth academy, so. I'll give you a chance, mate. Mason. Mason, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, Mason. I'll give you a chance. Right. Like I gotta say, guys, we're going to end the video here. We're going to end the stream here. It's been a pleasure, as always. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. Um, yeah, I, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. I probably will. I don't know what game. Um, I might be trying to record the final episode of the uh, Pokemon Sword gameplay as well tomorrow. Um, maybe not having that up. Maybe have that up on Wednesday. Maybe stream tomorrow uh, a different game. Um, I'm open to suggestions. But yeah, as I say, guys, thank you very much for coming and hanging out in the chat. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow, hopefully, if you want to come and hang out. So yeah, thank you, guys. And I will see you later. Bye.